Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hello, everyone. My name is Angel, and I'm the host of Half Faith Let It Begin. Today is 7.30 a.m., and it's Monday. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. It's Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. Yeah, we forget the days of the week. So this morning, we're going to do something a little different. This morning, we're going to take the time to remember what our favorite meal of the day is. That's right. Something a little different today. Something a little fun and exciting. As we venture out into another day of, you know, ha- another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin, I thought it'd be kind of cool to just take the time to think about what is your favorite meal of the day. So sit back, gather your thoughts, and hey, eat your favorite meal. It may, may well be... Uh, breakfast because we're getting ready to launch another episode are you ready do you have your your coffee set your orange juice set are you ready to take in some new and exciting episode that's going to probably say what in the world is angel thinking well why not let's do something a little different my name is angel and this is have faith let it begin let's get started and we're going to do it in 10 seconds 10 seconds to go eight Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Broadcasting live worldwide. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Don't you see that your faith is coming alive? Don't you see that it's tested every time? He's the one that makes your life Hi, I am Mia. You are listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hey, this is Freddie, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, my name is Angela, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Broadcasting live worldwide. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. My name is Angel. I just got a text message from my boy, Mansa. He's ready. He's counting down with us. Mansa, welcome to the show, my friend. I hope you and your senior are ready to rock and roll with us as we get started on this May 20th, Wednesday edition of Half Faith Let It Begin. A quick shout out to my baby girl, Ariel. 18 months old today. I love you. Oh, I love you so much. And I just dropped you off with Abuela and I miss you already. Happy, happy 18th months. Holy cow, she's growing fast, people. All right, folks, here we go. Let's get started. Something a little different. What's your favorite meal of the day? You know, many people say that the most important meal of the day is breakfast. Many of us don't have time to eat breakfast. Some of us say, what is breakfast? I eat my dinner for breakfast. I eat my lunch for dinner. I have breakfast for dinner. So here's my question to you. Today, on this crazy Wednesday, we're going to talk about it. I don't know about you, but for me, I'd have to say out of all three meals in the day, now we're not talking about snack time, right? Okay, no, we'll talk about that another day. So my favorite meal of the day would have to be breakfast. I just love getting up in the morning, especially on my day off and just trying to figure out what type of breakfast to make. You know, my wife uh, works from home. And I always make it a point to get up very early and make sure I make her coffee and breakfast every single morning. It's just something I enjoy to do. Um, This morning, I had a chance to wake up and give her a nice cup of coffee, some sausage, and some eggs. And she loved it. At least I think she did. If not, I'm sure my dog Cody is eating it all. But 
I am all, I'm a firm believer that breakfast for me is what gets me going. And I love getting up in the morning and just making a monster breakfast. I mean, anything from pancakes to waffles, scrambled eggs, breakfast burritos, you know, nothing like a good bacon, even turkey bacon. Um, I know I'm probably making all of you guys hungry. I love hash browns in the morning. Oh, I'm going to miss hash browns. I'm going to miss potatoes. Can't have those anymore because of my new diet plan, but that's okay. Um, I, it's to avoid kidney stones. If I have to stop eating potatoes, I can do that. But there's so many different types of breakfasts out there. And I'm just curious. Are you a person that loves those type of things? Maybe you're like the little fruit cups in the morning. I know that I, on Saturdays, used to go um, to a traditional uh, men's breakfast that takes place every single Saturday um, at the First Reformed Church. They have a monster breakfast each and every morning, uh, every, each and every Saturday morning, I should say. And it's, it's sad that they are not running right now because they've been running for so many decades uh, nonstop. And this pandemic has slowed it down. So as far as lunch is concerned, you know, lunch is okay. But the problem with lunch for me is I'm still carried over from breakfast. And usually or typically my, um, my lunchtime uh, kind of mellows into like a brunch time. I still almost want to keep brunch going. I still want to keep uh, breakfast going. And then I always try to, my, try to think to myself, what can I actually eat at lunch that's not going to be too heavy so that I can have my dinner. You know, that's something that's very interesting. Friday, we're going to talk about our favorite desserts, by the way. So I'm giving you a little heads up. Friday, we're going to talk about our favorite desserts. But for now, what is your favorite meal of the day? If you want to text me right now, you can. Um, Let me know what your favorite meal is. I'll take it. But that is the key. But now, you're probably wondering, okay, He's talking about his favorite meal of the day, and he's going to tie in some type of a lesson. You bet I am. So, I look at having faith the same way I look at eating my food. When I am hungry, when I wake up in the morning, I'll use my example. When I wake up in the morning and I'm excited to eat breakfast, that's how much I'm excited to pray with our Heavenly Father. That is how excited I am to know that deep in my heart, I am a part of the Holy Spirit, of of the body of Christ, of, and I'm allowing Him in my life. And one of the things that is so nurturing is that our food that nurtures us is the same way the Bible and Scripture and even this show feeds us. It gives us hope. It gives us a path. It gives us confidence. It gives us so much more and it gets us so much closer to God. One of the things that I love is our pastor for our church is constantly doing a live devotional uh, around 10 o'clock in the morning. He goes live and he's feeding all of us. He's giving us food for thought and he's doing it with words. And sometimes words can fill us. Sometimes words of wisdom can inspire us and sometimes after we've had worship or we've prayed we get hungry because we've just been hit so hard with such great words of wisdom and confidence and I use these words over and over again for a reason it's not because I don't know any other vocabulary it's because it's this it's the smallest words that mean so much more so today as you Get your food for thought. If you're having your breakfast this morning, if you are going to have your lunch later, if you're just coming off of an overnight shift and you're technically having dinner, remember, say a quick prayer before you eat. You don't have to if you don't want to. Maybe you could say it after. But don't forget, it takes a few seconds to say, thank you, Lord, for this food that we're about to eat or have partaken in. Thank you, and we pray for those that are in need that may not have the type of food that we're eating today, may not have the luxury to sit down and have a decent meal. That's some food for thought for you. And now, here's a little story for you. A little fun story. I can remember waking up one morning excited because, hey, it's breakfast time. I got up, I got excited, brushed my teeth, got all set up, had myself a nice little bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. I made sure I broke the yolk so they wouldn't spill on me. I had my favorite 
cup of coffee and I had an orange juice to go. I got in the vehicle and I put my little napkin what I did on my chest, what I didn't realize was as I was driving, the napkin had fallen off. I took a bite out of my sandwich and there was that one piece of egg that still had the yolk and squirt on my nice dress shirt. Getting upset, saying to myself, oh no, I'm like so upset. So I went to go take a chug of my coffee and a piece of the coffee, a little squirt went on my tie. I tell you, what a way to start the day. But you know what? I was able to get the stains out. I was able to move forward. But it is not a fun way to start your day. But you know something? Stains remind me of things that we may do wrong. Every day we're not perfect. We try to be. We're not a perfect person. We do things that feel like they stained your day. Well, praying to God, believing in God, trusting in God, knowing that your faith is strong, knowing that your connection with our our Heavenly Father can help remove that burden, that stain that you may have caused because He is a loving and forgiving God and He has forgiven you and He is calling to you and saying to you, hey, as you have your breakfast, as you have your lunch, as you have your dinner, remember this, I am with you, I love you, and I will never leave your side think about that on this Wednesday and never forget to have faith let it begin hmm I don't know about you but I feel like I should have a muffin today hmm I'm hungry how about you Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we improve. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Broadcasting live worldwide. 